this particular module on HR for non-HR managers. Uh, we look at the topic that we call human resource planning and we are saying uh, HRP or what we call human resource planning is an attempt to forecast how many and what kind of employees will be required in the future and what extent this demand is likely to be met. So we look at uh, what kind of employees do we have now uh, or how many are they then those that is what we call identifying the current needs and then we look at are the future needs so planning is asking ourselves how do we meet those future needs if they happen to occur then it involves the comparison of an organization's current human resources uh, with likely future needs i have just mentioned about that then uh, human resource planning we are saying is the, the process of ensuring uh, that hr requirements of an organization have been met uh, very well uh, we continue by looking at the purpose of human resource planning. The first one is uh, we are saying human resource can help management in making decisions in the following areas. So through planning of the human resource who are the personnel, we can make these decisions on recruitment. This could be when to recruit, how many to recruit, and so on and so forth. Uh, avoidance of redundancies. So how do we avoid uh, releasing employees? because uh, we do not need them. Uh, human resource planning can, can help us uh, make those decisions. Uh, training numbers and categories. Uh, so human resource planning can also help us to identify what we just mentioned in the topic on training, the numbers required for training, and uh, including also the budget of the training. The other one is uh, management development. So human resource planning is going to help us to develop the staff, especially the managerial staff. Uh, when do we expose them for training? At what particular point of the year? Uh, and how will this benefit the organization? The other one is human resource planning will help to estimate the labor costs. Those are the cost of uh, employees in terms of salaries. So through planning, we can even uh, be able to foresee and tell in the next one year, we will need 20 new staff. How much are we going to be paying them? And those calculations can be made in advance and budgeting uh, preparations are done. The other one is accommodation requirements. So maybe we are accommodating our staff uh, within the premises or we are going for a training uh, trip and we need accommodation. So through planning, of course, we are able to identify the number, uh, what is the cost, and we are able to move uh, forward. Uh, determination or what determines the human resource requirements. So we look at uh, the, uh, the demand, uh, we look at the supply, and we also look at other uh, human resource actions. Uh, human resource demand forecasting. Uh, demand forecasting may be determined by taking into consideration. So as we focus on the demand of the human resource, eh, we can uh, put into consideration uh, long-range factors. Uh, we can also put into consideration uh, short-range factors. Now, what we are calling the long-range factors, what is that? We are saying uh, those specific numbers are difficult to develop in forecast and compensating two to five or more years. Uh, those responsible for human resource uh, planning must consider uh, the following. So when we are looking at human resource in a long range perspective, uh, what are the considerations that we put in place to ensure that that is uh, done effectively? So number one, we look at what is the organization's uh, long-term activities because if we intend to run uh, extensive long-term activities then when we are focusing on the human resource we are focusing also to bring in the organization those employees that are going to stay I have seen very many cases of uh, somebody's CV that is showing every year they are into a new job and that is a question mark for those organizations that are thinking about uh, long-range uh, business plans the other one is uh, demographic trends and we are saying demographic trends in a country can determine the future demand patterns of labor organizations where we are experiencing uh, fluctuations in 
population affect the labor supply available in various categories uh, around education. Uh, so what kind of an education system is there in the country? Uh, what kind of uh, the cost of that education? Because if it's very expensive, then a number of individuals are not able to afford it. And then that becomes uh, trouble. Then the size in terms of the population size, uh, age characteristics, uh, do we have young people that are getting exposed to uh, education and so on? Or the bigger percentage are those, for example, that have lacked fees and they are not able to proceed? We also uh, consider the economic trends, movement from prosperity to recession and back to prosperity poses a considerable problem to HR managers. And we are saying during prosperity, uh, demand for jobs by farms is is likely to increase. Yeah, so this is borrowed from what we call uh, the business life cycle. Sometimes the business is doing well, so what does that mean? We will need more mm, employees. For example, during the period of COVID when the businesses were not doing very well, so we were forced to uh, downsize or reduce the number. Yeah, so human resource planning uh, enables us also to to uh, know how to deal with any of these aspects that might arise. The fourth one is technological trends. Advances in technology have definite effect on the nature and mixture of jobs available. For instance, advances in IT or information technology uh, resulted in a decrease in number of bookkeepers and an increase in number of computer programs. Yeah. So technology is also taking us to a place, for example, Nowadays, banks have adopted uh, ATMs or automated teller machines that can be able to uh, receive cash deposits, receive check deposits. So what does that mean? In terms of human resource planning, the organization will be thinking about how they move away from having a, a personnel uh, manning uh, a counter and resolve to go to the ATM to carry out similar processes that that personnel will be carrying out. And lastly is the social trends. Changes in custom and civil rights would influence labor pro projections. Mobility of personnel due to family commitments also affects demand for, for labor. Then we look at uh, the short range factors. The short range factors to be considered in demand for casting include production schedules, stroke budgets, uh, affirmative action uh, plans, uh, relocation, stroke plant closing. So when we talk about production, what do we mean? Specific sales forecast for the coming year must be translated into a work program for various sections of an enterprise. So if we intend to make uh, more schedules in terms of sales or more sales within a year, so when we are doing human resource planning, we simply are saying that we need to improve on the employee numbers so that we can be able to uh, achieve the desired uh, results. And the other one is affirmative action planning. An organization may be forced to hire a certain category of employees. Like in Kenya now we have what we call uh, the, the gender discussion that has taken quite a number of issues. That the number of females in organizations, in government positions is not enough. So the parliament, the Kenyan legislature has been pushing for what we call two-thirds gender rule. Yeah, of at least uh, where any representation, we need to have two-thirds of either gender. The other one is relocation of plants. Uh, so the recession in the economy may lead to temporary closure and relocation. This may lead to reduction in, in the labor force. So when we have temporary closure of companies, uh, the labor force is uh, automatically affected. Advantages of uh, human resource planning. Number one, we are saying that it equips the organization to cope with HR consequences of the changing circumstances. Um, so human resource planning, we are saying as a benefit, organizations are able to plan themselves on consequences that might arise.
and I've given this example again. For example, when COVID was uh, very rampant, organizations were forced to move to uh, virtual offices. Uh, so we need to plan. So who is what is going to be happening at what time? Who will be responding to questions if they are customers? And so on and so forth. Then may help a firm to discover new and improved ways of managing human resource. So proper uh, putting energy on uh, planning of the labor force also makes an organization to be good at that particular area. So you know how to manage. Uh, I see in other organizations, uh, today somebody is having a day off, another one is having uh, a day off a di for, on a different day or on a different week. All that is uh, human resource uh, planning aspects that are that are taking place. Then we are also saying that it helps to create and develop training and management succession programs. So through HR planning or human resource planning, then we know when do we train. Management succession programs are uh, programs that are meant to replace senior managers within the organization. When uh, a senior member of staff is leaving, maybe they are retiring, they are going to other organizations. It is through human resource planning where we can introduce training that is going to uh, benefit those that are coming on board uh, in those particular positions. Then uh, labor shortfalls and uh, surpluses may be avoided. So through human resource planning, we avoid what we are calling labor shortfalls are uh, employees, short, uh, lack of enough employees. And surpluses is when we have in excess and we are not utilizing them. That means what? We are incurring a lot of labor cost when it is not needed. So HR planning is uh, ensuring every employee is in the right place at the right time to be able to uh, save the organization cost. May enable a company to foresee some of the consequences amid the needs of uh, managing change. So consequences within uh, mistakes around human resource planning would affect the organization negatively. So having knowledge about human resource planning enables you to make sure that you are not uh, faced by uh, these challenges. And we're also saying uh, it compels management to examine the strengths and weaknesses of its labor force and personnel policies. Another benefit is duplication of effort among employees may be avoided. And it is because we know the numbers, we know we're supposed to do what and at what time. Uh, and lastly, it improves coordination and integration of, of workers' efforts. So uh, this is our assessment point one. You are expected to review these areas, these questions. The first question is a highlight, five ways through which a human resource manager may identify training needs in an organization. So find about that. Uh, the second one is uh, some employees are reluctant to seek counseling services available in an organization. Explain the measures that the human resource manager may take to encourage them to seek uh, these particular services. Number three is uh, a question asking that Tony, an employee of Suraya Limited, has been declared redundant. Explain five reasons that could have led to this situation. And lastly, discuss five factors that may cause work-related stress among employees in an organization. So. Uh, review those particular questions, uh, answer them appropriately as part of assessing where we are in terms of the coverage of the topics around this particular module. Thank you so much.